Hello, my name is Keith Thompson, and I'm one of the principals of the Avis & Young Hospitality Group. This is the second quarter video of 2022. It's being shot on April the 11th of 2022. We'd like to share some thoughts on where we're seeing the market move, which has obviously changed uh, very dramatically over the last year. But we have some thoughts about where we see this market heading that we would like to share with you. So again, this is the hospitality market video for second quarter 2022. The current hotel market for 2022 is expected to be almost a full recovery, which is about a year earlier, year and a half earlier than expected, almost to be full recovery from COVID by the end of the year. RevPAR estimate for 2022 is to be at 98% of 2019 RevPAR. Uh, EBITDA and NOI estimates are at 77 to 80 percent of 2019 and you say well if you're all the way back on ref par for 2019 why aren't you back in NOI and we're going to talk about those things in just a moment we're in the seventh inning if you think of this market as uh, you would a as you would a baseball game we're in about the seventh inning if nothing externally happens between now and hopefully in 2023 but we think we'll be in full recovery by 2023 by the end of 2023 these next two slides are uh 2022 market concerns things that um, that i see are problematic for the continuation of uh of the market to keep growing one corporate travel conferences and meetings they are still slow to uh, to to come all the way back to a full recovery. Inflation, um, and we'll talk about this uh, twice in this presentation, but we've never seen anything like this in my adult life. The world stage, Russia, North Korea, um, new tax is almost everywhere you turn, um, and I won't get into uh, all of that, but we all know uh, what is happening in the tax in the tax realm and new taxes that are being approved um, and it's concerning really. Uh, cost of living, housing, food, transportation. I've never seen it like this in the three decades I've been selling hotels, unions, property taxes and insurance. Um, this is a problem. This could potentially be a problem. This is going to be a problem. Cost of payroll, um, again, we're gonna talk about that a little more as we get into it. Um, all right, understanding this current market, um, it's very difficult to frankly understand it. It's almost, uh, you know, my last, uh, last point, it's really day by day and week by week because it seems like something's changing almost every week. Uh, but understanding this market, the, the most significant shift is in housing. What I mean by that is just the sheer cost of housing, apartments, rent, and uh, it's, it's, it's just unlike anything I have ever seen. Um, you know, I did a little, uh, you know, homework on this, and to meet the population growth for the United States for the next five years, now it could be a single-family home, it could be an apartment, a condo, uh, you know, it, 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 just housing uh, to meet the population of the uh, United States for the next five years, uh, there has to be 7,000 new units. Well, again, whether that's single family, apartments, condos, whatever it is, there's going to be 7,000 new a day every day to meet the population growth of the United States. Um, but uh, the cost of housing uh, in, a, in many areas, um, we have a uh, home on the south side of Atlanta and a, a second home uh, on uh, the other, on the uh, north side of Atlanta and on the north side of Atlanta, home prices have doubled literally in the last year. Uh, and I'm not exaggerating. I, now, when I say double, I mean sometimes 150% over what it was 12 to 18 months ago. But primarily in the last year, the values of homes. Now, I don't mean anything super fancy. I'm talking about a normal house in a subdivision. Prices have doubled, if not gone up 150%. Uh, percent. Payroll. Um, understanding this market, uh, it, it's, I mean, it's just changed. That's just all there is to it. It, it. It's what the employee expects, and they basically expect everything. The uh, loyalty 
um, is non-existent, almost non-existent anymore. And uh, the problem is you hire someone and, you know, you have to turn around because they're getting a better job, a better offer, and they're gone in, in three months. I've got a good friend of mine. Um, I won't name, um, you know, where he's an operator for, but it's a very high profile, uh, fast food operation. And he said that, uh, uh that, uh, uh, that they're literally hiring and firing because once the people come, they get a better offer somewhere else and they, uh, leave. And he said, uh, that he spent the vast majority of his time just simply hiring and letting go. Now I'm not talking about seasoned people. I'm talking about high schoolers who want to just come and work. Um, so housing, employee, rampant inflation, and just regardless of what anybody tells you, if you look at any news outlet, it's not transitory. The, ter the term transitory means it is uh, not a permanent thing or temporary. That's what transitory means. And the news would have us think it's not transitory and, uh, or, or excuse me, uh, um, they would have us think it is trans uh, uh, transitory, but it's really not. And the reason we know that is if you just look, everyone's watching this video, you just look at what your house or apartment or condo, whatever it is that you live in, what it was worth 18 months ago and what it's worth now, and then you ask yourself, would I ever sell it again for what it was worth 18 months ago? And the answer to that is no. Um, and so it's not transitory, even though the, the, the media would love for us to think all this is just going to come back down. I'm talking bread, milk, housing, gas, uh, electricity, uh, you know, just all of it is up. I mean, I got some pine straw, <laughs> um, installed at my house over the, over the weekend and it was 70% greater than it was last year. Um, so it's not transitory. Uh, the difference between right and wrong, I'm not going to go into this because that's just not uh, the place to do this, but we all see the news and it just seems like something has really shifted in the last, you know, 10 to, to call it 10, 10 to 14 months, 10 to 18 months. But something has changed in the fabric of America to where there's now uh, uh, the, uh, the difference between right and wrong as we saw it again 10, 8, 10, uh, you know, 10, 12, 18 months ago. It, it, I mean, it's just changed. Uh, I don't have any explanation. Market view is really day by day, week by week. So where we understand this market, the understanding of it is changing literally day by day and week by week, depending on what happens in that uh, situation. All right. Uh, I'm with the Everson Young Hostility Group. We sell hotels. We have 60 U.S. offices, and this is simply our report card. Uh, so for, the, for last year, we closed a hotel transaction every five days. The last 120 days, we've closed 27 transactions, uh, a little over $430 million in value. We have 116 hotels on the market here today, and we believe 2022 will be a good economic year uh, for our line of work and hopefully for the hotel industry as a whole. So in summary, <sighs> no one really knows where this market is heading. The more people I talk to, the more confusion uh, there is out there as to as as to uh, you know why, I mean you know how how investors can pay you know a a six and a half cap uh, on nineteen numbers uh, how that how how that works economically it is it, it's a little outside of my understanding. I used to think I had some. Uh, some comparison between what's going to happen and news and what's going to happen to a, a certain stock. But, but, but I got to tell you, it, it is a different market altogether. And there's no one that really knows where this market is heading. Um, we're here if you need us. Um, this is probably the best seller's market of all time. Certainly for the, certainly for the last three decades, this is the best seller's market. If you own hotels, it doesn't matter if it's, if, if, if it's five star or one star, it doesn't really matter if it's interior corridor, air exterior, independent franchise, it just doesn't matter because everything within the hotel space is worth as much now as I've ever seen it in the three decades I've been selling hotels. So uh, it is definitely a selling market. 
Uh, all of our opinions, advice, and BOVs are always free. And I say this on every video, and I want to make sure I say it again. Even if you're buying a hotel from someone other than us, we're still happy to help you for free. Run a spreadsheet for you. If you've got a, a if you just want a third party opinion, uh, we're happy to help you with that. And again, uh, BOVs, advice, uh, it's always uh, free. Uh, so we hope you have a great 2022 year. Uh, again, my name is Keith Thompson. I'm with Davis and Young Hospitality Group, and we hope you have a great 2022 year. Let us know if we can be of any help to you, and thank you for watching this video. All the best. Bye.